These people are hair buyers in Rangoon's Thakita Township. The dealing in hair has been on the rise since a trading road was opened between Burma and China in 1996. It meant buyers could trade internationally. And this year, the hair export business is booming. This buyer says people of all backgrounds are selling their hair. The buyers trade in two types of hair, hair that is cut and hair that falls out from brushing. This is called our chut. Using this row of needles, they brush the hair until it is smooth. They then cut and band the hair into equal sizes. It's now ready to be sold to an exporter. The price for the finished product is around 20 US dollars for 150 grams. Burmese women are proud of their long hair. Traditionally, long hair is a sign of beauty, but for some, cutting the hair is worth it for the money. Increasingly, however, women are donating their hair to fund local projects like building bridges and roads or social activities. Ashin Yazena set up a hair donation centre in Rangoon. Women donated their hair from all over the country and the money was used to fund social projects. <laughs> In 2009, women and girls across Burma donated their hair to build the Lei Nau Chin Piet Road project at Monwa Township in northern Burma. The project also provides free education to local villagers and a car service to take patients and pregnant women to the hospital. For others, it's purely business. Nearly two kilograms of hair at 30 inches long can fetch nearly 500 US dollars. It's a nice profit for both the buyers and exporters. Rangoon has three main dealers. Dorkin A exports the hair to other countries. <laughs> Their main buyer is China, but now they export to India, Italy and Korea. The hair trade in Burma is booming and traders are optimistic that it will continue to thrive in the future.